So this is Insight Tutorial video number 16 and this will be a demonstration on how to create a test type cause and effects using the cause and effects window. So effectively each of the synchro panels have the facility to be placed into a one man test mode whereby the sounders when a detector is operated will sound for approximately five seconds and be recorded in the event log and then effectively uh, will silence and then when the next device is tested again it will resound. So the first thing we need to do is we need to select the input that is going to cause the test facility to occur. So this might be something uh, that we install inside the panel like a key switch which we wire to one of the five default inputs on the control panel which can be found along the terminal bar along the top. In this case I'm going to use the continuous input and I'm going to reassign it from its default uh, operation which is to operate the sounders in a continuous fashion. I'm going to reassign that from evacuate to test mode. I need to make it non-latching so that if we return the key to its normal position the test mode will drop out. And I'm going to bypass any output delays I might have on my sounders that during the test the sounders will operate for five seconds straight away. Right, so that's our input now set up. So the next thing that we can do is we can go to our cause and effect wizard and set up the actual cause and effect. So there are four options. In this case, we're going to create a, a test mode one. So we're going to select test mode and then we're going to select the inputs that will cause the event. Well, the inputs are not on the actual loop inputs. It's actually a panel input. So I need to go to panel inputs tab. And there's our input that we selected to be a dis uh, test mode input. So we select that. We say it not all because we just want this one input to cause the event. And say next. We now need to select the zones. In this case, there are 10 zones on this particular panel. So we're going to select 10. Then we have the option to make it audible or silent. I'm going to say audible. So that when a device is operated in one of them zones and the test mode is on, the sounds will see, uh, sound for around about five seconds. I want to, um, I have the option to include the call points in the test facility or not. If we don't include it, it means when we operate a call point, the system will go into a full evac. Uh, we have the, also the choice to send it across the network. So effectively, are all the other panels on the network going to go that have any of these zones on them going to go into? test mode or is it just for this node? In this case I'm going to have it just for this node and say next. I'm going to provide it a name so something along the lines of all zones in test on panel one and it's going to be audible and the call points are not included, no CPs. Okay, so this will be the message when we turn the key that is displayed on the panel along with the test mode uh, LED on the front of the control panel to tell us that the system is in test. And there we go, that's now created. For further information regarding the Synchro range of panels, don't forget to check out the other Insight video tutorials, which can be found on the website, which is www.insightfire.com.au.